I'm <clears throat> making these presentations singular and rather simple so that um, I don't mix a bunch of information. The selection tools for Illustrator are on your upper left hand corner in this big long palette right here. For selection, Illustrator has two uh, tools. The black one, as I said, if you were to come in and select the black and click anywhere on an object, it selects all the pieces, all the points in it. Same thing with the old one. It doesn't alter it. It just selects everything for moving. It's this hollow one right here that is used to customize uh, a shape. For example, now, by the way, here's the hollow tool and the hollow with a plus. I almost never use the one hollow with a plus. It's the plain one that I click on. Now, look at what happens. Every time that I select an object, it has the oval has four points. I can select that point and you can tell it's selected because it's showing you the anchor bars on each side of it. Okay? Now, I could also click here and marquee across it and it would pick it for me. I'm going to switch this over to a white fill so that you see. Now, when I marquee here, it's going to remember up to the next selection area. If there happened to be another point here, I would have to hold the shift, click, hold the shift, click, and click for it to do what it's doing right now. Now, I can take that point and I can move it in, I can move it out, I can move it over. So you can say the hollow tool is used to alter the shape. The black is used to move the shape. So if I went up to the black here, click on the background, click here, the whole shape would move. It would not alter that shape. All right, now I'm going to go to the hollow, and there's another thing. I can, as I said, I can grab a point and move that. Or, watch, I'm going to click here, move up, and I want a rectangle that selects the two bottom points. Watch, I'm going to go. In many ways, what I'm doing is I'm going from here to up here like I did working with a rectangle. Now watch, I can click on the line and move and only these two are responding to what I'm saying, not the ones above. Okay? I could, if I wanted to, come over here, select, uh, by the time I get to the bottom, they're all selected. Okay, I can come and go here and go out. That means, uh, let's try and put this another way so it's a little easier for you to understand. I'm going to get a stroke here. I'm going to get my pen, my geometric tool, rectangle. And what? This is what I mean by marquee. You've done it to this area, but I'm doing it with a geometric tool. And I'm going to come over here and add dash to it so that I go six tab, six tab, six tab. Now, all that's saying is it's going to make six points mark six points empty, six points, okay? Now, when I click on the background, there is what they, is called a dashed line. 
I'm doing that just to point out to you when I take my hollow tool and mark T this corner, this and this are going to get selected, not the ones outside of the marquee. Okay, that's the dashed line. By the way, a lot of these I use to create a demo, a demonstration sheet. I keep a whole bunch of a rectangle up, up here on the gray, uh, an arrow with a pointing to something so it becomes my selection tools and I use them to point to certain areas and type under it what I'm pointing out. Companies hire illustrators to create tutorials. That's the more commercial term. To me, I refer to them as a demo and even specially, I refer to it as my cookbook. I have a cookbook from my grandmother, and I can make the cake she made a hundred years ago. Because the cookbook says, what hardware do you need? In other words, you need a computer, you need to have Illustrator in it, and you need a, th that's the hardware you need. And then the ingredients. The ingredients might be uh, color, um, dash, line, uh, right? And then above all, what do you do first, and then second, and then third, and when you come up to the end, what are you supposed to wind up having? That's a good way of you learning something and creating a demo sheet, we're going to be doing that as we go along. Creating a sheet so that you won't forget how to do something. 